Greetings, everybody. I'll be able to come with another episode of Noob Sauce. Welcome back. Welcome back. Alrighty. As you can tell, I'm actually not up top. We're on the ground. And if you remember correctly, several episodes ago, we found that right there. We're going to work on this today. Um, I need to get an experience farm going here. And right now, the only option that we have to us at this time is this one right here. Alright, uh, the spawner location is right here. This is the actual location of where that spawner is. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a um, mob farm slash XP farm at the same time. Alright guys, uh, I already took care of the lava that was here. If you remember correctly, there was like a, a small lava pool that was right there. So, uh... First things first is we need to actually dig this thing out. Okay. Generally speaking, this is what you're going to find when you see a, a dungeon. It may be a little smaller, but never is it really any bigger than what you see right here. The first thing we need to do is keep this uh, area centered. Alright. So we want to take our spawner and we want to measure out four blocks from the spawner itself. So it's going to be a total of nine blocks across. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay. And same thing on the side. One, two, three, and of course four. And the floor itself should actually be the full length underground here. And the same thing here. Okay, this one isn't, as you can tell. But one, two, three, four. And of course over here is the same thing. One, two, three, four. Alright. So keep the ceiling where it is. Because you want that ceiling to be one, two, three blocks total. All right. I'm actually going to switch out all these blocks and stuff, and I'll show you. So let me get um, digging this out, and then uh, I'll be right back, and we'll show you what I'm going to do with that. All right. Alrighty. As you can tell, I've got the initial box out. Now, if you look at this and watch this thing, it's still active. Even though we've got it disconnected uh, here, or disabled, I should say, really not disconnected. Disabled is actually the proper word. It still wants to spawn. So when you create your, your initial box, you want to make sure you have your outer sides also lit up. Because if there is a dark area within the spawning zone, it will still generate a uh, mob even though the the spawner itself should be turned technically turned off all right so in the corners make sure you put torches and that between the torches on the spawner or near the spawner and the torches here nothing can spawn in, in the general area of the box now this is the dungeon spawning area this locks from this torch to here which is nine blocks in total and it'll go up to where the ceiling is and up to two blocks below, I do believe. If I remember correctly this morning, uh, it's, uh, I, I actually go down three blocks now um, because of the way water is and stuff. But that's the bounding box. Uh, outside of that bounding box, these guys won't form from this corner. Or they shouldn't anyway. If that does, that means somebody's cheating. So, the thing too is you got to remember that these mobs, when they do spawn, do not act towards the mob cap because they're not included in the natural overworld uh, spawning mob. They're part of the dungeon uh, spawning mob section. Alright, so now that that is done, let us get into getting this thing going. Um, okay, I need some supplies, so I'm going to need two of you. I'm going to need some of you, and let me get four pieces of you for right now. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to get uh, my stone crater. When I when I form walls around these things, I try to use a different type of stone. So in case if I'm ever digging around or whatever, and I run into it, I know what it is. All right? So I always change out the stone. Uh, that's a personal choice. But one of the things so we're going to create is this stone brick. All, right. All you have to do with stone brick is you just put it in, in a 2x2 two two grid like this. All right. Or you can just simply just click on it like that and it'll do it on its own. All right. 
and you get this stone brick material. And you get uh, one for one is what you get out of that deal. Uh, one of the next things we're going to need is we're going to need this redstone lamp. We're actually going to start working on a little bit of redstone here. All right. To make a simple redstone lamp, it's just one piece of glowstone surrounded by four pieces of redstone dust like so. That gives you your lamp. I want both of these. All right. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to take and place a single block on top. Of the spawner, blow up one block here. Then we're going to take our two redstone lamps, one, two, and place it on top like that. All right, that will be explained shortly once we actually get up uh, into the ceiling. All right, now, now that you know how the stone is, uh, is, I'm going to dig out the rest of this and get these walls in place, including the ceiling. Um, there will be a slight difference in the ceiling, but I will go over that when I get there. So let me do the rest of that and get the ceiling and these walls in place where the outline is. All right, and then we'll be back. Now, the initial walls and the ceiling are in place. All right, guys. Uh, here's a, a clear way of some of the, the stuff that was here. Remember, this is where our, our storage area is. So, all right, so as you see, here's the wall. I got some holes left here is because I want to finish up some of the uh, additional lighting and the decoration. Uh, there's a lot of decoration, but um, so one of the things I want to do is we need to get the rest of these glowstone lamps made up. So let's finish those all up. They're all so we get those done. Another thing we need to do is we need to create something called a redstone torch. So you're going to make some sticks like we normally do, all right? And then right here, this item right here, this redstone torch is what you want to do. It's just a single stick and a single piece of redstone dust. All right, I'm going to make two of those for now. Um, oh, and then also I want to, uh, yeah, and those are some of the other items we'll be making shortly. I also want to make another block. It's kind of a decorative block, so I, So we need to make slabs. All right, like so. And then what we're going to do from there is we're going to create this block right here, this chiseled stone brick. And all it is, is just two slabs put back together that create this stone, uh, chiseled stone brick. All right, guys. So let me finish that up. Let me show you what this looks like. Now, in the ceiling, if you look at the ceiling, this is what I did. The reason why I did this is this outer wall here will show you where the glowstone on the ceiling needs to go. I'm going to put these blocks here like this. Now that's what the block looks like when it's placed down. And this indicates where this block, the redstone lamp, needs to go into the ceiling. All right, guys. So let's just give me that. There, there, and there. And you there. And I'm going to need four more. No big deal. I know you're going to go there already. So let me just get uh, a little bit more. And we'll get... Ooh, wait, if I can pick up the right block. And there we go. Give me those. Give me those. And I got them. Okay. And we'll put those in a place like so. Okay. And then I'm going to put those. I need more. Okay. So now the ceiling and stuff is in place. And these last four redstone lamps, you want these to go on the same level where the spawner is, but right across from it on the fifth block. So one, two, three, four, here's number five. All right, that's exactly where the wall should be. And those are going to all go in each one of these holes, just like so. All right, so this is what the redstone lamp system should look like. You got two in the center, four in the ceiling, next to the corner. It doesn't have to be directly in the corner. Just one block off or diagonal from the corner. All right, and then four that go around the box here. This lighting setup will disable any spawning within this um, mob farm. All right. 
the only problem is now we actually need to light this up. And what I generally try to do is, since i got to clear out the bottom of this, is I will switch out my torches and put them on the redstone lamps, like so. This way I can have free access to clear this out. So, redstone lamps are powered by redstone. What else, right? And I can quickly show you that by coming up here to, towards the ceiling. Come dig up here. And let's see if we can't find our lamps. Uh, here's one of the blocks. So we know we're near it. All right, there it is. Okay. Now, if I place on this red stone torch, it won't power it. The reason is, is because the redstone torch will not power anything below itself. But it will power a block that's next to it. So this block that it's next to is now considered powered. Any block around it, including the air, like this one, this one, and this one, and the one above it, are also considered powered by this simple redstone torch. How can we fix that? Simple. I can actually put a redstone torch here take a piece of dust and put it next to it, that torch will power that redstone wire, which then in turn powers the block below it, which then powers the, the redstone lamp like this. All right, I'm gonna dig out the rest of the ceiling and get this uh, and then I'll come up and I'll show you the setup that I use for the uh, ceiling, all right? <laughs> And here we are with the top of the spawner now dug out so I can walk around in here and move. All right. Now, I always put torches down where I have the light switch up here to prevent anything from spawning up here. All right. uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay down the redstone wiring that needs to go up here for this particular setup up here. If you remember correctly, this is the one block I haven't chilled out yet. This right here. Once I chisel out, we'll show you that this is the redstone lamp that sits on top of the spawner system itself. All right, you need to leave this block blank the way it is. We're going to come off of here. This is where I decided that the front of the, the spawner is going to be. And we're right above the redstone lamp that's down by the spawner level itself. So we're going to come and begin our wiring here. We're going to tee here to, um, to those blocks there. We're going to continue here and then go down into that block there come back out and we're going to tee again to here all right now what that will do i will show you i will put a temporary block here and i will give me back my redstone torch i will place a torch here and that will power this entire redstone wiring and will power each and every one of these redstone lamps including the two that are on top of this morning let's go down and take a look at it real quick all right, so essentially these are, are, are um, since this one is now powered, it's also going to power this one that is adjacent to it. Uh, it won't power three, so I couldn't put a third one here because since this one is not actually the technically the power source of the block, if I put a lamp here, it won't be powered. But because this block is attached to this one, which is powered, it's able to power this block here. And that's how that functions. All right, guys. Um, there's a little bit more technical term I get it, stuff for it, but that's the best way to describe it. All right, guys. Um, now, how do we get up there without having to drop a torch like we are? Uh, that's easy enough. We're going to set up a torch tower. And we're going to set up a lever system that's going to turn on and off all of these lights. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create an item called a lever. That's another redstone item. If you want, you can always go to your redstone tab, which is this one down here, and it'll bring up your redstone items. This is what we're looking to create. It's a very simple thing. It's nothing more than a stick and a piece of cobblestone. All right, and all that is, is it's literally a lever. It turns on, turns off, turns on. And when it turns on, you'll see occasionally you'll do that little redstone flicker. That lets you know that this that it's trying to power whatever is on so this block right now that it's on is being powered as a redstone source now it's turned off all right so it's you know really simple all right so we're going to take one of our chiseled stone and put it right next to where that lamp is and if i take this lever and put it on the front of it for now 
turn that on, you'll notice that that lamp is now turned on. If I uh, put a redstone torch here, this block is not powered by the redstone. That block is. The air block is. This block is not because this block is the one that is being uh, powered. But if I turn this on, what happens is the redstone lamp will get power and it will deactivate this redstone torch because this block is now powered and you can't have the, those two type of power sources together, which is what we want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a block above this with a redstone torch on top of it, which will be on because that one is now powered off. All right. And then what we're going to do from there is we're going to put a block above here so that this block here is powered by this torch. Okay. And then if we take a piece of redstone dust, doo -doo 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 -doo, come up here and put it on this block right here. Look what happens. Power. And this setup allows, because you can only go 15 blocks with redstone wiring before it no longer functions. This setup here allows every block to be powered properly. There, it does, there's no shortage of power to, to the unit, all right? So if I turn this off, here, look, we'll go inside real quick again, see, everything's on, you saw from the top, you can see from down here. So if I depower this by turning that on, that redstone lamp will turn on, which will deactivate that redstone torch. And everything's turned off up here, right? Let's go up top real quick again. See? Simple, simple. All right, guys? And that's how you work a um, the redstone lighting for these type of projects. Now, how do we power these other three, though? Well, you, you have to be a little careful about this one because the way I design it, I design my spores now with shoots and stuff. So I have to know which side is going to be uh, the area where the mobs are going to come out of the spawner. All right, so I have decided that the front is going to be somewhere in here, and I want the mobs to come out down over this way. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, therefore, I have to go this way around. All right. I'm going to switch out these blocks here. And I'm going to put a torch here. That's what I usually do, by the way, too. I always put torches where I have my lamps for lighting. All right. I need you. Okay. Right, you're going to be this, you're going to be this, then I'm going to put a torch here. Ready. Now, switch these out. Let me put a torch there. Switch you out so I know. Okay. Now, we need to take this power source and shunt it around to the other side. So if I take my redstone wiring... Yes, you're going to use a lot of redstone in this. And I bring it to this block here. All right. And power the system up. Look what happens. Nice, right? That's the simple part. Right? Because remember, this block is now powered by this lever, which deactivates that torch going up the tower. But it's also going to activate this redstone wiring which is directed all the way around until this block because it's touching the only problem is to get to the rest of the lighting if i put redstone dust here it's not powered even though this block is powered it can't send the signal through the block for wiring but there's a way we can fix that all right so let me switch these two blocks out and we will make the next item that we need which is called a repeater. We need stone for that, and I have to go get some. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. And here I am back with some stone. All right. Now, one of the things we need to make is we need to make a couple more torches. We need two minimum for what we need to make. 
this item right here, this repeater, all right? All it is is three pieces of stone. Now remember, not cobblestone, stone. That's the stuff you put in the furnace, and, and unless you have silk touch, and, and make in, out of uh, cobblestone to make stone. Your two torches and a piece of redstone dust, and that'll give us this item called a repeater. Now, we're going to take this item. Watch what happens. When I put this down on the other side of this block, look what happens. It's now actually powered. It's able to take the signal strength that is inside this block from this wiring and continue it going forward. So if I put a piece of redstone dust right next to it, it'll power this line. This is how we're going to reach the other lamps. So we'll come up and around to over here. said I always like to change my blocks up. Uh, da, 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 da. We're building redstone. Okay, this is going to be the lamp. All right, and then if we bring this redstone around, I have enough just for this. Bam, like that, right? You'll see now that this whole system is lit up from here. And I'm gonna repeat that coming over to this lamp. I just need to place one more repeater down over here by this lamp, bring the wiring around over to this one. And all of this lighting system will be operational and we actually do not need torches in the system anymore. All right, so I'm going to finish that up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down here. I'm gonna dig this out now. Um, you can dig it down two blocks if you want, and you'll you'll be fine with it. I like to go down three blocks because of the water bobbing. When I get down there, I'll, I'll, I'll explain that. All right. So let me get uh, let me get the rest of the redstone put in place, and let me get this bottom section dug out for you guys, and then uh, we'll finish up. All right. Be right back. <laughs> 